let us go back to our original exercise and put that information in the Gantt chart. We will do the same later when we are putting this information in a project management software which is called Project Libre. So you will find the same things here and later in the program. The data are still the same. We have the precedence diagram, we have the early start and early finish dates, late start, late finish, slack and critical path. So here we have that information but only related to the early start and early finish. We already did this before huh, in the previous session. So activity A starting from 1 till 2 with a slack of 2. Activity B no slack, it's on the critical path from period 1 to 4. Activity C starts on period 3, finishes on activity on the period 5 and has a slack of 4. Activity D also starts at period 3 but finishes on period 4 and has a slack of 5. Another critical path activity E which starts in period 5 and ends at period 9. Activity F from 5 till 6 with a slack of 3 and activity G from period 6 till 8 with a slack of 4. And finally the two last activities H and J which are on the critical path so we draw them in red. So this is the Gantt chart or harmonogram in early start position for our exercise. So let's have a look at the next session where I will create the late start harmonogram or Gantt for this exercise. See you there. Thank you.